Hi everyone, this is just a really short video to tell you about a hidden easter egg which is in Pro Tools. This has actually been there since at least version 12.8, but for some reason it's gone largely unnoticed, although there have been a few mentions of it online. Believe it or not, there's actually a hidden asteroid style game which you can access within the surround panel window. Of course, that means that this particular easter egg is only available in Pro Tools Ultimate. I'm just going to give this session a name. The name doesn't matter, call it whatever you want. Just create a session. and. In order for this to work, I just need to make sure that I've got uh, a multi-channel bus of some kind. It can be 5.1, 7.1, 7.1.2, .1, any format really. So I'll just let's just make it 7.1 for the sake of it. Okay, name it however you want. I'll just call it game, but that name also doesn't matter too much. So in order to access the game, create a track. I'm going to make a mono audio track for this. Uh, route it to the multi-channel bus. And then you need to show the comments field for the track, either in the mix window or the edit window. Then you need to type the word Pro Tools all as one word and backwards, which is Slootorp, S-L-O-O-T-O-R-P. Okay, on the face of it, nothing seems to have changed. But now when I click here to open up the pano window, you can see we've got this game and it tells us that the controls are X, Z and S. I'm really bad at this, but here we go. Let's try and do it. Uh, it's basically like an asteroid sort of rip off. What's interesting is that as you play it, um, various Pro Tools related logos uh, appear on the screen. I told you I was bad at it. Let's keep on trying. And you can play this in uh, either a mono or a stereo uh, output window, as in if you route a stereo track to a multi-channel output, you'll basically have two lots of this. And I just shot the Pro Tools logo there, I think. If you play it long enough, you ascend through the levels and eventually you get all sorts of uh, well-known icons. If you're familiar with Pro Tools over the last few years, you'll recognize some of the more legacy ones that start to appear. Anyway, you could go on all day with this, waste many, many hours in the studio and you probably should be working. Well, if you have Pro Tools Ultimate and you have nothing better to do, then by all means give this game a try. I will be back again with some more serious content very soon, so I'll see you then.